Let's go ahead and work out this linear programming example. So the officers of a high school senior class are planning to rent buses and vans for a class trip. Each class can transport 80 students, requires six chaperones, and costs $1,400. Each van can transport 10 students, requires one chaperone, and the cost is $90. Since there are 880 students in the senior class that may be eligible to go on the trip, the officers must plan to accommodate at least 880 students. Since only 78 parents have volunteered to serve as chaperones, the officers must plan to use 78, at most 78 chaperones. How many vehicles of each type should the officers rent in order to minimize the transportation cost. And what are the minimal transportation costs? All right, so the last part of this uh, scenario is very important because that would be information that will help us to create the objective function, the function that you're going to either maximize or minimize. Here, we're going to be minimizing. So this is the part that will give us the objective equation. So that will be the cost of this transportation. So let's C stand for cost, C is equal to, so to rent buses and vans. So let's use some variable, let X stands for number of buses. And we're going to use Y to stand for number of vans. And it's going to cost $1,400 to rent a bus so that means 1,400 times number of buses plus E times Y. So this will be the objective function. And that's the function we want to minimize. Let's hold on to that and let's see what are the constraints for this uh, scenario. So now we're going to set up our inequalities for these two variables. So the conditions are each bus can transport 80 students. So for the bus, we can have 80 number of students and we can have the van can transport 10 students so that will be 10 y and since there are 880 students and it can only serve um accommodate at least 880 students so some of these has to be at least so greater than or equal to 880 students so this this is kind of like your equation or the inequality for the number of students you can accommodate either using van or buses. And then the second part of it, we're going to work with the chaperone for buses and uh, vans. So for the first statement, we see it requires six chaperone for the bus. So we can um, talk about six times X plus for the van, it can transport uh, 10 students requires one chaperone. So we just need one Y. And since there are 78 parents volunteered, the officer must plan to use at most. So you can use less, but the maximum you can use only 78. So that will be less than or equal to 78 chaperones. And we wanna use this information to um, minimize our objective function. We also have to make sure that X and Y are positive numbers. So greater than or equal to zero. So this is what we call the constraint equations or the restrictions. And now we can graph them, find the feasible region, which we also call it the solution region, figure out the corner points, and then we will see where we'll have the minimum cost. So let's go ahead and plot them. So we're gonna work on the inequalities first. So since X and Y are positive, we're only gonna focus on the first quadrant right here. So this is X, this is Y. So let's graph the first inequality. So for the top inequality, 800x plus 10y greater than or equal to 800, the x-intercepts, if you set a y to zero, you're going to have 80 equals to 880. So that will give us, um, for the x-intercept, we're going to get 11. So let's suppose that this is 11. And then for the y-intercept, we're going to set x equals zero and we'll get 880 divided by 10. So that would be 88. So let's suppose it's right up here. 
88. And if you connect them, you get a line. So perhaps something like this. Let's suppose this is 88. So that's the first inequality. Now we're going to shade in a region. So either this way or this way. So let's pick a point. Let's pick the origin, 0, 0. If you plug in 0, 0 here, you'll have 0 graded than or equal to 880. That's not true. So 0, 0 is not in the solution region. It has to be uh, to the right. So we're going to shade in this direction. So this is the portion we're going to shade in for this inequality. And then for the uh, second inequality, let's do the same thing. We find the um, intercepts. So for the x-intercept, now we're going to set y equal to 0. And that would give us 78 divided by 6. So that would give us 13. Let's suppose somewhere right here. This is 13. And for the y-intercept, we set x to 0. And we have y is equal to 78. So let's draw a line. Suppose that's 78 right there. Just estimating. And then let's shade in the region for that. So let's again pick the origin, plug it in here. 0 for x, 0 for y. 0 less than or equal to 78. That's true. So yes, we're going to shade in uh, in the lower half. So we're going to shade in this direction. And you see the region where the two uh, shaded region overlaps is this triangular region right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shade that in as well. So that will be our feasible region. So this is the intersection and this is the feasible region. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and get rid of these since we don't need those portions. So here is our solution region. So just making it look better. All right, so I got the solution region. Now we're going to go ahead and find our corner point. So corner points are points that are intersecting the boundary curves and they're in the solution region. So this is one of them. This is one of them. This is one of them. And we're going to see which one of these, when we plug into our objective function, gives us the minimum value. So we already know two of the corner points, 13, 0 and uh, 11, 0. We just need to find this one right here. So that's when the two curves intersect. So we're going to solve this system. So we're going to set them uh, like this. So you have 80x plus 10y equals to 880. Then we have 6x plus y is equal to 78. We solve this using any method you like. I'm going to go ahead and use the process of elimination. I'll multiply this by a negative 10. So that gives me, uh, for the first equation, it's just 80x plus 10y is equal to 880. For the second, I'm multiplying by negative 10. So I have negative 60x minus 10y is equal to negative 780. Now we can add them up. So if you add them up, you have 80x minus 60x, that's 20x. The y will cancel. And then 880 minus 780. And 80, that will be 100. Divide both sides by 20, x is equal to 5. And now that we have x, now we can plug this into any of these equations to find y. I'll use the bottom one. 6 times x plus y is equal to 78. Plug in the x value 5. So 6 times 5 plus y is equal to 78. And then 6 times 5, that's 30 plus y is equal to 78, which means y is equal to 48. Wonderful. So we know our point, this one right here. This corner point is 5, 48. All right, so everything is done. Now we can test them. So our corner points for this particular problem are 11, 0, 13, 0, and 5 comma 48. Now we're going to plug them into our uh, objective function, which is right here, the cost function. So I'll just take this and place it down here so we can test. So let's see what are the costs for these particular corner points. So at 11 comma 0, the cost is going to be 1400 times 11 plus 90 times zero. 
So that's going to give us about 15,400. So that's the cost for uh, if you were to rent 11 buses and zero vans. And let's check the next one. What if you have 13 comma zero? So plug this in for X and Y in the cost function. So 1400 times 13 plus 90 times zero. So that's gonna give us about uh, 18,200. So that's the cost. One more to go since we have one more corner point. So five comma 48. So the cost would be 1400 times five plus 90 times 48. And after you put this in a calculator, you should get about 11,320. All right, so the minimal cost will be renting five buses and 48 vans. The cost will be 11,320.